Hey guys, and just a little taste what this game will have in store for us. Look at that! Enough said. Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Terra Tech. Something very unusual that I released two episodes in a row without any other video in between. It is for three reasons. First and foremost, I do not have time to record something else. Second of all, I really do fancy playing it. And third of all, you guys have done an awesome job in giving me some feedback on the first episode. And this is why we find ourselves right here once again. Keen observers of you will realize that I have restarted a new save game and I've gone even one step further by actually managing to get the delivery can. From the looks of it we did encounter some kind of a bug with the shopping system. I'm not sure what exactly happened. However, now everything is working more or less. You didn't miss anything other than me getting this delivery cannon and now we can actually check out what it is all about. Namely, what we can do with a delivery cannon is for instance pick up a bunch of materials let's see if we get something from this rock for instance look at that we already got two of these rhodite seams okay and what we can do is just drive nearby this receiver right here this is a receiver and it will automatically pick up things that we have on our vehicle and if the receiver is adjacent to a delivery block you can see we are actually now selling the stuff which of course is great. The next thing it wants us to do is actually go ahead and buy a refinery. I do believe we already have enough in order to achieve that. However, let's actually drive towards that question mark and find out for ourselves. Oops. Mm, there we go. Here's our trusty trading station and it wants us to buy a refinery. So maybe let's do that. Blocks and a GSO refinery. That's what I wanted to see. The refinery unfortunately does take up a weird space as you can see. It's kind of weirdly arranged. However, we can put that adjacent to here. That should be good. You know, just to get ourselves started. Do we want to fight this guy? I actually think we should. I should have taken a battery with me. However, However, I think with this guy we can deal. He only has one cannon, though he's really fast. Don't do this to me. Come on. Oh man, he's too fast. I hate these boogers. There we go. He has no wheels anymore. Which is actually good because he does have a bunch of wheels that I'm interested in. So I think we're gonna get rid of these smaller ones. Yeah, those guys we don't really need anymore. I'm gonna attach the big ones right here and this will give us a huge speed advantage, hopefully. Of course, we take home all of the blocks as per usual. And maybe we even take home an additional set of wheels. Or we place those in the back, actually. Yeah, we could do that. What the hell is that? A rifle. Of course, we take that too. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Right, so we have to bring the refinery to the solar generator. Let's do that. Just follow the quest objectives. But actually, let me show you what it does. You can see we are picking up the wood and now it is being refined into something else. Something that is worth a lot more and of course something that we want to sell. And we can do that on the vehicle directly. So eventually we're gonna have like huge harvesting vehicles which are gonna make us a ton of money. However, here we are. Now we have to be a little bit careful we only really yeah you saw that I really didn't want to get rid of those so maybe we take the delivery cannon and for the time being just attach it right here so that we are selling those materials that are being refined right now there you go now you can see the cycle is going on a little bit more intelligently of course you would want to pick up the raw resources using this receiver here so theoretically what it wants us to do is have this delivery cannon somewhere adjacent to this thingy majingy we need to make sure that the white thing oh is adjacent to the cannon and you can see now that we have completed the objective it even gave us a bunch of receivers we now have two receivers in total and this right here is like a conveyor belt so it's just connecting up your system with other stuff I don't know for instance I could have this right here and then if we wanted to we could even sell stuff like this wheel for instance I could just put that right here and it would also sell the wheel for us so actually everything that you pick up from other guys can be made into money or into your own vehicle, which of course is great. However, time to expand our base with those blocks right here. And we should probably start actually enclosing this solar generator. Because if someone destroys the solar generator, everything will be knocked apart. And that is not necessarily something we want. 
Okay, great. Let's get back those batteries, or at least one. I should be doing the trick, and I would say we're go on a hunt for some more bad guys. I just realized that I do not have a radar on this baby just yet. That, of course, is a huge mistake, but I would say we're checking out the desert slightly, because usually there are a bunch of guys there that I would love to take apart. Holy cow, it's really hard to steer this thing around. However, there we go. We can turn around much faster with these wheels, and since we are protected, I'm not gonna drive around too much. Just gonna try to hit this guy in the face. There we go. That looked good. Come on. Oh man, his cabin is almost destroyed. Don't be so nervous. What the heck do you want? Ah, there we go. He's got himself trapped. Beautiful. Okay, that should have done the trick. I'm also taking your blocks and your wheels here. Cannons, always useful. And what the heck is this? A light. <laughs> yeah, let's at least attach it once to our vehicle so that we can buy it. And finally, we have our radar as well. So that turned out nicely. Next up, we have this guy right here. What do you have for us? I first thought he's not actually defending himself, but I was a little bit wrong about that. There we go, already took him apart. Looks like a special guy. Yeah, I think I do not have those weapons just yet. So once again, we are going to expand our vehicle. And we're gonna build those weapons on top of here. Let's do that. Yes, so many cannons. We do not really need those guys, right? We have enough wheels. Then what is this? The tooltips do not work. Look at that. The tooltips are just crazy. Sometimes it might still be a little bit buggy. And look at the light. Now it actually works out. We need to go back to the base because we are being invaded holy but geez in 30 seconds there will be a very very dangerous enemy appearing right here you can see the zone in the radar and we are going to prepare ourselves for that fight of course we're not going to back up Oh man, we do not give up the trading station this easily, no sir. However, the first thing I want to do is wait for daytime and prepare our vehicle a little bit, just for the eventuality that we actually lose. It's always a possibility. I would also say we take this opportunity to replace the front wheels with those guys. This will hopefully give us a little bit more stabilization. I'm not 100% sure. I might be 100% wrong. Uh, actually, look at that. I feel a lot more agile so maybe it helped a little bit okay right beautiful we can even have some more cannons for instance we can have one right here and then turn this around to be right there then I would say we're gonna grab this battery right here and the repair bubble can we oh no I ran out of battery power too bad too bad so let me just load those guys up and I'll be right back as soon as we go for this guy over here all right there we go guys the batteries are loaded up we're gonna take both with us just in case and I think we can do this oh yeah we're so freaking fast and a lot more stable than the last time I can actually drive straight without being pushed left and right all the time oh man look at that thing what the heck is that I don't believe that I've never seen a thing like this oh look at that we took it apart with one hit oh no it is really fast <laughs> It is really fast and uh, really, really funny, I have to say. I haven't seen that yet in my private playthrough. However, it seems to have a bunch of interesting modules on top of it that I would like to scavenge. Oh, unfortunately, a lot of it exploded. However, we do have an additional battery and stuff. What did he have here? An additional shield, okay. Repair blocks, that is good. Then we have additional batteries right there and there. Some more batteries. Then what is that? Another repair bubble. Holy cow, that was like a repair vessel or something. It was definitely crazy. Let's attach some more wheels. There we go. Oh no, we are already low on battery power because of all that stuff. But I guess there's nothing much we can do right now we shall still try to grab this guy just because I think we still have a little bit of battery power left so that we can at least launch one attack as long as he's this confused it shouldn't be too much of an issue to take out a bunch of vital systems right there come on what the heck are you doing oh man he does have a bunch of modules that I've never seen before however he seems to be exploding and now our shields are gone but that's fine, I think we already almost won. I really want that tanky thingy that he has got there. Uh oh, he's hitting us, not good, not good. Oh, he exploded. You defeated Death Trap from 
Payload Studios. Yeah, I think eventually also player contraptions will actually attack you or invade you. However, we did get new weapons. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh, that's crazy. And we did get new wheels. Oh man, I've been looking forward to this already. What the heck is this? It is a Redox Mega Booster. Holy cow. Unfortunately, we blew up the tank that it had. So I think this is like some nitro stuff that we have here. We're also gonna take the blocks and we're definitely gonna take the wheels. Those are gonna be so important in order to make a bigger vehicle. There we go, two wheels on board, that's beautiful. And we take all of those lasers as well. Great! Just to make sure I haven't forgotten anything important. Yeah, look at that, we get another battery. You cannot have enough batteries and probably another shield projector. However, I need to get back to the base just very briefly in order to deck myself into energy again and of course to get rid of all those additional parts. Maybe I do some redecoration so that we have those two wheels installed as well. That would be cool. So give me just a second and I'll be right back. <laughs> so unfortunately this doesn't seem to work just yet, we'll have to find a bunch of additional wheels, potentially a little bit bigger even. I think those are actually the small big wheels that we have found here and there are actually much bigger wheels out there. So let's grab one of those again, there we go, we should be good now. And what we're also gonna do is grab all of these battery packs and they should actually bring us through an entire night, at least if we have enough of those guys, we are good golden and I think five well, just do the trick. However, I have noticed that there is some kind of a question marker over there. So maybe we are going to check that out next. And of course, it's going to take just a second because we are so freaking fast and unstable. Oh, that might actually be just the trading station. Yeah, totally. Do we have something to do right here? Or is it just about earning money now? I mean, that could totally be the case. However, in order to do that, I want to purchase myself more blocks. For instance, we at least one two of those guys we already have one tractor pad the second one should help us out tremendously then we also want an additional delivery cannon that would be good and an additional refinery i think the refineries are the slowest units but you know we will see how it turns out all right so for the time being what we could do is remove this block and add the delivery cannon and this means we are not yet refining the resources should we include that already. I feel like I have a too small vehicle for that. No, actually I think it is worth it to do this right off the bat. So we are gonna rearrange a few things. We're gonna attach that to the front right here. Then we're gonna have our little refining system like so. And where can we have the delivery cannon? That is not working out. We might have to put the refining system somewhere here. Oh yeah, something like that. Then it can travel right here, go through the refining system and into the delivery cannon just like that. That's great and gives us still space to attach a bunch of weapons. How about that? Yeah, I think all of them can actually shoot. Okay, great. This should actually work out. We are going to test this out right on this tree here. No, actually not the tree. We're gonna go for whatever the heck this is. We're gonna take this apart and it's being dragged into the refinery just as planned and hopefully it's gonna travel through here towards the delivery cannon. And look at that. Indeed it does. We have already an automated system. System, a very slow system but you can see we are earning a little bit of money and there's a guy to take out maybe he does have something new for us to check out at the store eventually I think I already got him yeah look at that and what do we have here yeah I already got that but of course we can always use another one then we got a drill which we can potentially add in the front a wheel and what the heck is that another radar dish yeah we cannot really use them but we can add the lights yeah look at that it's much better much more illuminated right let's take on the next guy right here just because we can and i want to oh i'm a little bit stuck but so is he oh yeah he actually got stuck a lot worse than i oh man look at this bastard what a poor little guy anyways we're getting a little bit big once again so maybe it's time to add additional wheels what do you say about that does that work out yeah it works out more or less what were we about to do yeah i was about to harvest all of these crystals over there and of course uh, in the process we're also gonna take out this guy as we would say in German we are gonna make his gar out 
Holy cow, that doesn't work in English. You are gonna bite the dust. I think that is fitting for a desert. Those are really, really annoying. I don't understand how they can turn around much faster than I can rotate my vehicle. And there you go, he got himself trapped. <laughs> Oh, what a loser. What a loser you are. There we go. He exploded once again. I'm only gonna take the blocks this time and maybe the weapon. Yeah, we're gonna leave the rest there. I mean, we can always buy stuff in case we want to. So if you don't know, basically what the aim right now is, is to collect materials, make money, buy more stuff, take on these invasions. As you can see, we are greeted yet with another invasion. Now I wonder, should I just remain here and take him out? I mean, look at our battery power and we do have a really, really good shield. So I think I'm just gonna wait for his arrival and then we're gonna take him out. Just in case you don't see enough, I'm gonna set the gamma a little bit higher. There we go. The colors aren't as beautiful, but at least we can see something. And there we go. He is here. Let's attack him. Uh oh, he's really going for me. Hopefully the shields will hold. So far, so good. The battery power is fine, but it's not gonna be fine any longer if we let ourselves bombard this way. Let's just make sure that we take some of the weapons that he's got on the top. Yeah, there we go. I think it's much better. He's shooting much less now. I'm tipping over, tipping over. Only two battery charges left. Though it helped out a lot that we did have five batteries on board, I would say. What do you want? Why are you coming this close? Come on. You have no chance by now. Where is his stupid cabin? I don't want to explode all of the yellow blocks. I really would like to only take take out his cabin, take possession of his wheels and stuff, but I cannot really aim to the top here. However, we do already have a wheel and now that I have it attached to ourselves, it shouldn't be an issue. Ah, there we go. I defeated him. That is great. Good to know. We're gonna attach the yellow blocks right here. Look at that. The bigger wheels. That is gonna be crazy. Right now, of course, this is not going to be a vessel that we really want to be in. It's just going to deliver all the blocks back to the base. Holy cow, look at that bastard. We're gonna also keep some of those wheels. Maybe a bunch of weapons would be good as well. Yeah, this will let us expand our vehicle and base tremendously. Okay, I think we actually have enough of that. Look at that, there are several question markers now. Yeah, find and harvest the boss. Should we do that? How much battery power do we have left? Still two. By two, I mean two lights on the battery. But we are not very, very stable. Still, I think think it's a good idea to take out the boss as he probably does have some technology that we really 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 want however this little booger I have to take out first just because it's gonna get on my nerves otherwise there we go already taken care of let's go ahead and harvest the boss is he even moving what is he doing this question mark is very very intrusive can I get rid of it yeah there we go just click the thing again okay let's harvest the boss oh no the boss is actually called Called harvest boss it's not that I have to harvest him or something like that don't destroy my stuff man I need to make sure that if he's hitting me he's hitting this bubble take out some more of his weapons yeah 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 we're doing a good job we're doing a very good job holy but geez I didn't even expect this to happen oh man I'm so proud of ourselves right now where is his cabin look out he's going to attack yeah of course he's going to attack I would attack myself though I have the feeling that I missed something. Shouldn't he have something that I don't have yet? For instance, this. What is this? This is something I don't have yet. A small generator. That is interesting. What is still shooting? Ah, oh, he's still here. He's still alive. I don't believe this. How can you still be alive? Oh, he also has a refinery on board. Oh no, I just blew up the battery. I'm so sorry. There we go. I just want to hit his cabin. It would be cool to be able to aim a little bit more precisely. GSO license upgrade again. And we did get something new here. What the heck is that? It is a fabricator. Guys, we have a fabricator. Holy cow. And an additional refinery. We take that all home. We also need additional blocks. It's time, guys. We stock up on blocks. Holy cow. So many things to take home with us. It's like Christmas all over again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Now we definitely have to get back to the camp. We can install yet another thing, namely the fabricator at the solar generator. How did my blue arrow just disappear? I don't know. Return the fabricator to the solar generator. Yeah, there we go. For some reason, the blue arrow sometimes disappears for no valid reasons. 
However guys, holy cow, this has been a lot of fun. This game is just crazy cool and I love to play it. It has to be said. However, it's time to rearrange my base. It's time to rearrange my vehicle. I definitely want to use the bigger wheels. And this guy is suspiciously close to me. However, I think he is now stuck and he's gonna leave us alone. Let's uh, put the fabricator just adjacent to the base so that this text is going to disappear. And yeah, you can see we did get a whole bunch of new blocks that just fell down and those guys are conveyors from the looks of it. Yeah, we did get a bunch of conveyors. That is convenient. And also some more receivers, of course, that is most delicious. Where is our delivery cannon? Ah, oh, there we go. There it is. I thought it was actually back here. However, guys, I think this is a good spot to end the episode. I'm gonna need to do some off-camera work in order to sort out my materials, make my base a little bit bigger, and then once this has happened, I'll be right back with the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, leaving your support down below. The support in the first episode was awesome, which is why you definitely deserved another episode right away. Have a great time and hopefully I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye bye.